Hey, right here, Computer Advantage. Today we are going to look at some Apple products just released June 2017. Going to take a look at the 13 inch MacBook Pro and a couple of iMacs side by side using NovaBench for our benchmark testing. Enjoy these videos. So we are here with the 13 inch MacBook Pro that came out towards the end of 2016. This is the 13 inch with a two gigahertz processor. We're going to run a NovaBench score on it just so that we can compare it to a few other MacBook Pro models and also see how it compares today against some of the iMacs as well. So we've got the test running right now. We'll watch this happen and then we will see the benchmark score from NovaBench. Again, this is the 13 inch with a two gigahertz processor running eight gigs of RAM. And there we see a score of 726. NovaBench score on this machine, 726. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro refreshed in June of 2017. It has the 2.3 gigahertz processor. This is the model without the touch bar and we are going to run the Nova Bench score on it as well. So we've got the test running. We can kind of watch this happen. Basically this wasn't much of a model change up. This was just a refresh with the new Intel processor. Our direct comparison today is the 2016 13 inch. Score for this unit is 823. So as you can see, this new model does outperform its predecessor. All right, so we have the new $1,299 Retina iMac with the new USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports on the left. We're comparing it to the old 1499 Retina model. Processors are similar. The one on the left is the newer generation. So we're gonna run the NovaBench score side by side and see how these perform. So we've got an 810 score on the right and an 887 score on the left. So the new iMac for a lower price with the Retina display did outperform the previous model that was $14.99. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more. Thanks.